Good morning. Welcome back to What Feels Real. I am still in Virginia visiting my parents and came down to this pond that is in their neighborhood and didn't know what to expect early in the morning. And um, it is lovely. It's lovely. There are so many sounds of nature waking up. Um, also noticing sounds of maybe a railroad station nearby. I, I don't know what's on the other side of those trees, but anyway, lots of life happening here, real time. And I just felt like I wanted to really celebrate all of the metaphors that I notice in nature and that are so awake and alive and present for us all the time if we just take a moment to pause and slow down and really let ourselves immerse into this natural world around us. So this is a practice that I'm going to encourage everybody to go outside even if it's in your backyard, even if you're in your car and you have to pull over the side of the road and stay in your car and look outside, just a place where you can really tune into, at least visually, all the nuances that are happening in nature around us all the time. The sun is in my eyes, so that means I can't see anything. I can't see you. I can't see you. I can't see you anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I don't know who watches. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so just really waking up and seeing what jumps out. Um, things in nature that standing strong and perhaps bending and moving and swaying with external forces around them. Things in nature that maybe because of forces in nature have sort of been pushed off to the side and are stuck or trapped in a little corner. I'm looking at leaves in a pond that are just sort of almost stagnant, but not completely. They've got the motion of the water underneath them, but they're not going anywhere. Where in life might that remind me of what's real for me? Noticing things that have um, kind of laced with cobwebs. Maybe something in life that it's time to pick up and dust off, bring back to life. So just really opening up and seeing what's around. Things that glisten. Things that have been shedding layers. It's a little game you can play anytime. Anytime when you want to use the power of the pause to just slow and still and settle and just take in the world around you and see what jumps out. Usually I find often there's a message there for me, something that I really already know that I needed to remind myself of or maybe something that I really hadn't woken up to yet. So anyway, on that note and some beautiful hawks 
just soaring above me. Um, just like to invite us to begin to settle the body, settle the mind, taking a position that feels awake and alert and with integrity, but also a sense of comfort and ease. And letting in any of the sensations that are present in this world around us. Tuning into the sounds, letting them pass through, wash over. Opening up to the physical sensations present, contact with the seat and the ground below. If you're outdoors, the sense of the air, the temperature. Any physical sensations rippling and resonating within the body. Opening up to any feelings in the heart. Any thoughts that may be present in the mind. Replaying the past, predicting rehearsing the future, just acknowledging and making an intentional choice to come back to this present moment, right here, right now. Using the anchor of the breath to practice presence
when the mind wanders, simply acknowledging, making a choice to unhook from any judgments, thinking, ruminating, and coming back to the natural rhythm of the breath. Just this breath. Just this breath. Just settling down into living life just one present breath at a time. Slowly beginning to wiggle the toes and the fingers, perhaps open up the neck, soften the shoulders away from the ears. With a final inhalation and exhalation coming back. Hearing these really sweet little blips in the water every once in a while, which makes me think that some life underwater has come around to see what's up. So, any metaphors that may have come alive for you today, just inviting you to bring those out with you into your day and see what those messages might want to inform and where they might want to lead you. So stay awake in life and I'll look forward to next time. Take care.